Hi guys, Ashley here back with another video. Today I want to talk about how I like to set up my ICU rooms for an ICU admission. Um, I kind of over the years have kind of tweaked the equipment and things that I like to be in the room for an ICU admission based upon all of my experience and things that have occurred and whatnot. So I wanted to share with you guys how I like to set up my ICU rooms in hopes that maybe this might be helpful for you guys who either work in the ICU or if you're in another specialty or do like telemetry med surge, this may be helpful for you guys to see as well. Before we get started, really quick, I need a little bit of help from you guys. I'm trying to get this service survey filled out. It's about healthcare readmissions. So if you're in the healthcare setting, if you could go down to the link below and fill out the survey, it takes like literally two minutes. Um, that would be super awesome and helpful. So thank you so much. If you enter it, leave a comment and I will enter you for the giveaway that I'm doing over on my Instagram. For everyone who's filling out the survey, I am giving away either a Starbucks or an Amazon gift card. Whatever the winner would like, they can choose. Okay, so the two Two, that's four. Two most important things to have for an ICU admission. If you have nothing else in the room, have your suction setup and oxygen equipment. So I like to have my suction canister already. Make sure your suction's working with the suction tubing and then a yonker or yonkower or yanker. Everyone says it differently to have in case you need to quickly suction the patient. Um, I can't tell you how many times patients when they get moved over from the ER bed or tele bed, wherever they're coming from, suddenly they vomit and you don't want them to aspirate. So very very important and then the other thing is oxygen equipment so you don't necessarily need to have like a non-rebreather nasal cannula all those things in the room but have the oxygen oximeter and then a little um, nut nipple as people call it christmas tree um, the little part that screws on in case you need to plug in the nasal cannula or whatever and with this oxygen equipment have your bag valve mask in the room um, available. You don't necessarily need to have it set up unless you have a crashing patient that's coming up to you, but have it available in case you need to start bagging the patient. If you have those two things, you can pretty much like wing it until you get more people in the room if something happens. The next thing that I like to do before I get an admission is I like to always zero my bed. I like to do this so that way when the patient gets up, I can weigh them right away and we can have a, a current ICU admission weight. That way if we're giving fluids, if we're diuresing, doing dialysis, we can have an accurate patient weight right off the bat. I also like to make sure that my monitor is working. I have all of the cables that I'm going to need and I usually put electrodes and a blood pressure cuff in the room. Sometimes a pulse ox, depending on the type of patient that's coming up. We have the little clippy ones, but if I, the patient may need a little a sticky one, so that way we can really monitor things closely. They're not trying to take it off. I like to grab that as well. Make sure you have all of your cables. I can't tell you how many times admissions come up and you're like, oh shoot, I don't have my electrodes. And it's not fun to be in that situation if a patient is actively not doing so well. Other equipment that I like to have in the room are, I like to grab a couple flushes just to make sure I can check my IV central line right away when the patient gets up. I like to grab my glucometer and like glucose testing stuff because we always check a patient's blood sugar right when they come to the ICU. I'll usually grab maybe an extra chuck or some towels, maybe some peri spray, depending on, again, the type of patient coming up. Maybe they have a catheter, maybe they're homeless and we're gonna need to clean them off. I like to have just the basic hygiene products. I like to make sure that when I come on my shift, if I have an open ICU bed, that my room is set up almost immediately. So that way, no matter what happens during my shift, I know that that room is ready. It's not fun when you're ha taking care of another patient and then your charge says, hey, you're getting a, a postcode that happened on the floor, they'll be here in three minutes. <laughs> it's not fun to try and scramble and get everything set up. I will also say that at my hospital, we have an admission cart that we put right outside the room that has a lot of the basic things in it. So I don't really grab, you know, like IV fluids, IV tubing, labels. I don't really grab that stuff until I know what type of patient I'm getting up. If I know I'm gonna need to bolus them, if I know that they have several different drips running, then I will grab all of those things. But for the most part, I try to keep things very, very minimalist. So that way I'm not wasting a ton of supplies. I will also make sure if they're a contact patient or especially now that I'm getting mostly COVID patients, um, I'll put a contact thermometer and contact stethoscope in there that is just for that patient. I also like to fill out the whiteboard with my name, the patient's name and the current date. And that's pretty much it. Honestly, it takes me about two to three minutes to set up a room. 
Um, but it's just nice and reassuring to know that if I'm gonna get an admission, it's already ready. I'm not scrambling to try and get it done just right when an admission is coming up. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if there's any other things that you like in your room when you set them up. Again, I know I'm pretty minimalist when it comes to setting up rooms, but let me know what else you like in your rooms. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.